Hello, everyone. Nate here, back at the top of the episode to drop a little bit of information about our socials. You can find us now on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Rolled Standard. You can also email us at the rolled standard gang at gmail.com. If you have any questions or concerns or want to suggest a game for us to play in the future, you can also find us individually on Instagram if you want to see what any of us are up to or just want to talk to us directly. At rolled standard dice is me. At cannibal.chris is Chris. At Von House, H A U S, is Jake. And at Aaron underscore Hume is Aaron. With all that out of the way, I hope you've been enjoying the show. Cheers, and don't sniff glue. Welcome to the Rolled Standard. <laughs> Today we are playing Fate Core System, or we're playing the Fate Core System. We made our own little story today with uh, some characters that you, if last episode will be published, <laughs> if you if you paid for it, and the premium cash, then uh, then you'll have heard it. Is it um, on our OnlyFans? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. and farmers only. Yeah. I don't know why we put it there, but our, our farmers only fans. It's called farmers marketing. only. Fans. Oh, by the way, I'm Nate. I'm Christopher. Jake. I'm not Nate. In fact, I'm Aaron. <laughs> there it is. Okay, oh, man. so September first, nineteen sixty. Arizona, just outside of White Hills, the three of you come to the uh, DPIC, which is the Department of Paranormal Investigation and Containment, uh, the Containment Center, which is, again, just outside of White Hills, Arizona, in Mojave County. You could call it in the middle of the night, and it's like, you could call it probably 2.30 in the morning, roughly. Um, we're called the middle of the night because there was, uh, someone is missing. You know what, we're going to call it 4.30 in the morning. Uh, one of the containment cells is missing its... Uh, captive and you find this out because you are you guys show up that well take the reins as you guys show up wait where is this a warehouse it's the containment center where you guys know is where they hold all of the uh specimens or monsters essentially okay i guess my question is is like how big is this place are we deep inside that's like, fantastic like, multiple point. levels well or? the building you know is uh it looks like there's nothing there it looks like there's a, a random garage in the middle of the desert um old ramshackle garage uh, but you know it's an underground. Um, you, you'll get there. Uh, <laughs> okay. You'll see. You'll, <laughs> okay. And you'll be familiar. Asking with too it. many questions but already. The, Got at it. The, at the moment, Steve, the wheelman, is driving behind the wheel of their uh, Mercury Comet. Yes. Yeah. 1960 Mercury Comet, government issue, or issued by the DPIC, DPIC. We're just gonna call it that from now on. <laughs> No, no, no. I don't think you're going to get away with that, my friend. Definitely won't. But um, <laughs> you guys pull up to the uh, the security gate, and it's literally what you guys are looking at is a, an old beat up garage, um, pretty large garage. Look like they maybe hold like a combine in there or something like that, right? Or maybe like a yeah, it's more of a pole barn than an actual garage. But uh, it's got this high chain link fence around it, you know, a razor wire over it, and uh, a simple. I know, right? <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm. I'm imagining this scene in my head. I'm like, Good. okay, that makes sense. And then all of a sudden, there's this right? just fancy ass fence around it. It's got wires blinking and shit. And I'm just like, <laughs> all right. We well, can... it is the '60s. I don't know if it's blinking. If it is, well, it might be blinking. Oh, that would definitely give it away. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no, I was just my, my imagination no, got no, the better of me. <laughs> that was very good, though. Um, and you guys pull up. Does or the Steve? fence still look intact? Everywhere? Oh, oh, yes. As you guys pull up. Um, you pull up, though, to the security gate well, around this fence. So it's literally this barn, God, it's a so... fence around it, and then there's this, this security checkpoint. <laughs> All right. As John Cena, I got this this just fucking basic face you're, right now. You're I sitting just in the front care. seat or you sitting in the back seat? I, you know, he's my homeboy. I'm going to be sitting up front with him, so he's driving. What about um, Steve, James right? McCready? I don't, I don't mind being sitting Steve? in the back. Okay. I just thought it would be hilarious if all three of you were sitting in the front of this boat. No, absolutely. Oh my god, I suppose, yeah, we could. Yeah, that's the bench seat. <laughs> absolutely not. I will not be doing that with you guys at all. I'll sprawl out even. I don't give a shit. You pull up and uh, there's John Smithers, a guy that you are very well familiar with because you see him every damn day nearly. Uh, evening, Mr. Finnegan. Or morning, excuse me. <laughs> Been so long I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been so long that you don't remember? I mean, I've been here all night. Is. I've been here all night. You can't see the sun coming up. It's four thirty in the morning. We're well, August. Man, I was going to tell him 1st. to chip her up, but uh, it's August last night. I at least remember that part. <laughs> it still is. September first. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys are quiet this morning. Uh, we we got a call that somebody ran away. 
Yeah, all you gotta do is show me your placard. You know this. Yeah, <laughs> we know. I've been holding it up at the window for four minutes. Yes, you have. <laughs> I just see this drunk, like, no, fucking exactly shabble really. guy <laughs> slamming it against the back window. <laughs> like, no, let us No, throw. it's 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 literally like near annoyance, just holding it against the window, just like. like <laughs> I've been holding mine up for like the last five minutes, just Both forward. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I usually wait. I'm just... have this conversation about like it, the morning and shit. Well, I've been here all night. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's late in the, it's late in the shift, man. I don't really. Don't you get lippy with me, Finnegan? I've been holding this fucking placard up for you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, he uh he lifts the gate and lets you guys through. You guys drive up and uh. The garage door opens for this thing. A rolled away door in the 60s. <laughs> Government issue. <laughs> yeah, and you immediately you see there's this, this ramp going down underground. And you're familiar with this. Uh, you drive down into this sub-basement, and you continue going around like you're going downstairs in a parking garage. Downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> down levels of the parking garage, and uh, eventually you park in a spot. And um, let you take the lead here. Hey, John, when they called you, did they say anything about who it was that went missing? I can't remember the goddamn name of the thing. Was it the... It is the shapeshifter. Yeah, the uh, shapeshifter got loose, and we're looking for him right now, so if you could direct us uh, to the closest entrance to that facility. And uh, you know where he is? That would be this door here to the left. He, and he pulls the car in. Uh, you guys get out and head into this just constant security checkpoints that you're constantly having to show your badge. Man, if they couldn't have picked a better... Creature for us to have to find today. Um, you get to the actual uh, area that he's in, or the, the the cell block, you could say, and uh, you see that there are four other guards kind of huddled around the area, and uh, you, you recognize them, of course, because you work here. These are people that you all know, um, maybe smaller degree, but you know. Paul, you, you... Jerry, boys, how are things? Ugh, confusing. I can only imagine. Is everybody okay? Uh, yeah, we're missing, uh, well, there was a, I'm gonna let, uh, Officer Edwards, uh, explain what's going on here. And portly gentleman, you all recognize as Donald Edwards, uh, steps up and he's like, Yeah, I, uh, well, me and, uh, Officer Campbell and, uh, Officer Richardson were, uh, <laughs> we were, uh, we were, we were on duty last night and, uh, well, shit, I, there's a whole section of my mind that's just missing. Like, I don't remember what happened around like the 2 a.m. hour. None of us do. Uh, however, Richardson's shift ended. And he went home, as you do. Hopefully, I mean, he probably just left. Either His way, he shift left. shift ended at 2 in the morning? No, he, he was done at 4. Well, then why is he gone? It's 4.30. Right, but we've had an escape. That's a good question. That is a very good point. You'll have to ask him. And everybody just let him leave? I mean, his shift was over. Well, I'm going to need records of everything that you've got over the last 12 hours on video cassette. Yeah, I'll, uh... Well, I can't really use the voices right. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I, uh, yeah. Well, I, I'll see what I can do. Um, you guys going to be around the office? Absolutely. We were uh, sent here for the investigation. Why don't you guys, uh... I mean, I imagine you guys going to want to take a look at the sale. Absolutely. All right, well, uh, we're going to... Any questions, you come up to the security office. Most of us will be there. Oh, we'll see you. How many cells per block? Um, like 20. How many inmates per cell? One. Oh, it should only. I would assume only one, depending on the creature or creatures. Actually, these are questions that you guys could literally be just asking each other. Absolutely. All right, so we've well, got 20 cells, one creature per cell. But what type of cell was this escapee in? Was it? Uh, I believe the we, shapeshifter we cell was pretty standard. Uh, as far as we were aware, its only abilities were specifically shapeshifting. I don't think it's power necessarily increased or decreased depending on what it was it was usually humanoids i don't think there were any other mm, some vaguely humanoid shapes orangutans baboons things like that but not not anything outside of the ordinary so yes, yes. what are you guys gonna do here yeah i'm gonna start examining the cell myself perfect give me a notice check a roll notice at uh plus two so in other words you roll your your fate dice all four of them all four of them huh yep. And it looks like Ooh, you've got a yeah. plus three plus notice, which if you have any a two. You do have a plus two to the notice? Yep. Very yeah. nice. So that's a plus five overall. Mm -hmm. So you beat that by three shifts, which is a success with style. Ooh, so shit, <laughs> dog. 
All right, so what does that mean? Like, that means style. That, what do I get to style while I'm doing this shit? Right. What that means essentially is that you room. succeed more than you would have. Okay. Well, no, while I'm in there and I pull out my magnifying glass, success. I'm actually flexing through my suit. <laughs> Right, well, uh, you'll get an actual... <laughs> because I, I'm just going to add to the story, because before he actually went on this mission, he did watch a commercial for, uh, like, male swimwear, and he saw, like, beach bodies. So, like, the emotion thing's starting now. Oh. <laughs> That's so, <hard>. so, <laughs> so he he watched this commercial, right? So now he's he's, like, thinking about the commercial as he's doing this and inspecting around the area. Uh, John, you all right there, friend? Oh, what? Oh, yes. I, uh, I just... Had an itch on my back. I'm sorry. I will continue hey, my I, investigation I just, here. I was just curious, man. You you go on ahead. Do your thing. Oh no, thank you, thank you, James. One of the uh, so the result that you get from rolling that you realize that like this must have been an inside job or he had some help from the outside because nothing is tampered with, nothing is damaged. It doesn't look like it's just empty. That's what you get out of that. Sweet. Well, that's curious. I really didn't expect that, but at the same time, he's a shapeshifter. I mean, I mean, if anybody's gonna fool anybody, it's gonna be him. First rule or of the D pick. I'm expect pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that he did have help out though. Expect anything in the D pick. From what I've been uh, looking and finding in this this cell, it looks like somebody had had the ability to get in without actually physically being here. And was able to erase the guards' memories that they lost around two o'clock in the morning. So See, that's, upon our arrival at four thirty, that's a lot of time for these guys to get in and out and do whatever the hell they needed to do. You're absolutely right, and that's another curious thought as well. Um, as far as I was aware, he didn't have the ability. They rather didn't have the ability to erase people's me- alter people's memories, especially. Um, curious now, is there a creature or creatures that are here that can do that. Would you know, Steve? I don't know about that exactly. However, I do know the standard cell block configuration is a truncated pyramid. This mm. quick jotting on this paper here. Our man was here. I'm going to these creature cells over here to see if they saw anything. Mm. Let's hope that they're um, the cooperative type. Oh, everybody cooperates with the d pick. I'm so glad that you have so much confidence in them. Well, you know, you have to be confident in your D-pick. Otherwise, the D-pick is useless. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> that was nice. Let's, so what are you going to do? I'm going to confidently walk up to the cell directly across from our missing shapeshifter. Across the hall? Across the day room. So you're going directly all the way around to the other side there, talk to that guy? The that guy who can see into his window, essentially? Yeah. The guy that you would be waving at at night? <laughs> yeah. The one you're throwing gang signs to? Oh, I would just wave at him. Really happy guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, you head over there, and uh, you see that there's like this turtle shell in the middle of the room. It's this large turtle shell. Is there a uh, name tag on the outside of the door, stating the name of the inmate? Yes, it says, The Turtle. Fair enough. I'm going to knock loudly, cop knock, if you will, mm-hmm. on the door. Okay, and you do, and then you see this this human head come out of this turtle shell. He, That's fucked up. Oh, God. He's got the uh, the old crown going on, you know, with balding a middle-aged man. Oh, Jesus. Um, I feel that. <laughs> it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> Not middle-aged yet. Uh, and he's like, fuck you want. Did you see anything last night? Nah. I'm going to... Boot the door as hard as I can, stand up, and get over here. Uh, give me an athletics check, or roll athletics. At uh, What are you trying to do exactly with that kick? Instead of reaching are you booting the door, door or just making noise? I'm just making noise. Oh, okay, you don't have to roll for that then. That Specifically, just... my... They're trying to bust the door open. Oh. Like, it's a fucking pretty hard door to bust open, but go right ahead. No. <laughs> no. no, specifically, I'm trying to be a stereotypical cop and... Oh, right, they bang on the doors. Yeah, they, they're yeah. assholes. That's right. what they do. <laughs> you see his uh, head disappear into a shell after you bang on the door, and uh, his human arms and human legs come out of the other holes, and uh, his head comes back out, and he's like, he just kind of moseys on over to the door. I didn't see nothing. He's like looking right up to the glass, too. Well, it's uh, typically lights out at 11. What time did you go to sleep? What was the last thing you heard? I went to sleep around. 
bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> what a badass. <laughs> God. Um, there is a role that you can be... Oh, so you're trying to, like, intimidate him, sort of? Or what, is, what exactly are you trying to... Uh, are, you, are you trying to... Uh, well, at this point, he's obviously being difficult. Right. Right, so it's going to require some, uh, some rolling to get uh, some information out of this boy. And, I mean, there's... Oh, I mean, provoke is a good one for that. I have that. Or deceive. I do. Not. You're not really deceiving him. You're just trying to get information out of him. Right. I'm... So I mean, there's a there's a if you look at the skill list, there's 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 other things you could try. It depends on your approach. You know what I mean? Rapport. Rapport is. I think it's specifically to get people to like you and stuff like that. Let me just double check it quick though. That seems important. So I'm not necessarily trying to be a dick. Right. But you just want I answers. do know that one of the most important things to any inmate is their privileges. Right. I guess it says the report skill is all about making positive connections to people and eliciting positive emotion. It's the skill of being liked and trusted. I mean, you, you can do you, talk, you can totally do that. Um, now, here's one thing that you can do here. You know, there's the four actions that you, that you generally do with all things, and it's overcoming, which is generally like 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 um, like uh, Jake did, or like 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 John Cena did with the uh, with the notice check. That was essentially him overcoming. You can create an advantage, which is literally spending a fate point to add or to, to roll with that skill. And if you succeed, you'll be able to uh, add. At an aspect to the situation, or attack and defend, which doesn't really apply yeah, here. But yeah, that's that's that. So, how do you want to go about doing this? Okay, let me work on rapport here. Okay, like, look, turtle. I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but this is a huge security situation. We're missing someone. We have to contain y'all. It may be to your advantage to uh, help me out. What's in it for me? And give me what that you, report check. What do you want? Extra rations? Get rations from sell my meds. Boy. Oof, dude. What's your what's your report skill? Yeah. Oh, so you got a negative one over. Or no. Okay. I don't even have one. So you have zero then. That's a negative two. That is a negative Let's rough two. Them up. You and me. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I can get rash I can get extra rations from selling my meds. Uh I think that we should uh What's going on? I just wanted here? to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> he quietly was just like, "Let's rough him up." <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I was like, um, "Maybe the two of us should probably go and uh, check on that first thing we talked about, and uh, check on those videotapes." I agree with James. We'll be back, Stephen. Cool. Okay, so you two head off to do that. We're gonna wrap up his scene, and then we'll cut to your scene. Okay. Uh, so, what was the last thing said? Uh, that you can also be on cell restriction and never see the light again. Yeah. That going to do much inside this shell. Think I don't have everything I need in here? All right. Have it your way. And then I'm just going to walk over to one of the guards that's still there. Okay. Officer. Bruce Campbell. Officer Campbell. Yeah. That was already the Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be Officer Brown. Hey, James. How you doing? Literally, his name is Jim Brown. <laughs> James, Jim, and you know it. So what we're doing here is you're going to keep looking over at the turtle cell because he's going to give me information, but he doesn't know it yet. So I'm making it appear that I'm having you take away his uh, privileges. <laughs> you agents are a hoot. I got your back. Then I'm going to go back to the turtle cell. Mm -hmm. Like, last chance before we're done. Roll report one more time. <laughs> That's a one. So nothing. All right. He just uh, walks back to the middle of his cell, kind of like does some circles like a dog would, and then just pops into his shell. Okay, I got something for that. Going back to James Brown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is James Brown. I never caught that. <laughs> I made a guy named Jim Brown. Didn't even realize it was James Brown. <laughs> oh, funny. Anyway, shut him down. Give him zero. Privileges, he gets meals, and that's it. Do you want me to turn the air off? Yes. Doing it. He, like, presses some, like, you, some dials and some switches. You see the lights go out in this cell, and then, uh... Then I'm going to the cell right next to him and beating on that door. Okay. <laughs> uh, in this one, you see that there's a, uh, there's a, there's a female inmate, um, and she's, she's kind of already looking. She's awake, which is, she's been getting ready or something. Uh, she's kind of messing around with her bathroom, you know, mirror-toilet combo. <laughs> or the sink toilet combo, uh, and then you see her turn around and head back to her, uh, back to her bed, and you see that she's got this man's face on the back of her head. 
and it's just mean mugging you. <laughs> then she... Voldemort? <laughs> <laughs> No, you, should, <laughs> you should not be named. She, yeah, you can't still say that. <laughs> no, uh, she picks up a pair of glasses off the table and she walks over to you. And she's, she looks like she's in her like seventies. Um, looks to be about the same age. Fair enough. And she's like, uh, "What can I do for you?" Good morning, ma'am. Would you have happened to have seen anything last night or heard anything? Well, I, I sleep like a rock. It's all the meds. Uh, but uh, Eustace might have seen something. And she turns around and he's like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would you? Is it? <laughs> it is. Wouldn't know. It's always a beautiful day with the D-Pick. <laughs> what do you want? Would you have seen or heard anything last night? I may have. Such as? He's, uh, he mulls it over for a minute. You see, like, his thinking face. He's kind of, like, squinting at you, making eye contact. How much is it worth? Uh, I don't know that there's too much I can do for you. I don't know about that. What would you like? Hmm. And he like again. This is dependent on how good this actual information is. And if you lie to me, I'll know. How? You guys don't know shit. shit. <laughs> while we're while this is going on, we're like, man, we don't really know shit, do we? <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, he, she, whatever you want to call it kind of paces around the room and you see like you see his face of course just scowling and you, you makes his way back you see her face and she's just kind of just confused <laughs> she looks like she's lost like grandma can't find her car um he comes back he's like what'd you want for the turtle all the turtle snacks he could eat oh, oh, fuck. turtle snacks well you asked what i offered the turtle sir. how about this how about this how about this crossword puzzles you bring me a book of them like a fat one. A lot in it. Like a hundred. And you give me what? The answers. To to questions. Well, you got to tell me what you saw first. I'm literally in the middle of this investigation. I will get you your book. Assuming you give me good information. You see him mulling it over. All right. I'll tell you what I saw. I wish I was sleeping. I was staring at the window. Uh, he gets real close to the window, and he's so close to it that you can like see his like breath on the window as he's talking to you. He's like, "So one of your one of your cop buddies he opened the door for the shapeshifter, and I imagine that's what you're talking about, right? Because no one else was missing." And uh, and he's like, you see his breath just like which officer? Up. I don't know your fucking name. I know names. you know them all. I don't know his name. So he's a new officer. Well, I just never give a fuck about him. He comes up occasionally. I've seen him a couple times in the last six years. And then? He just took the shapeshifter out, walked him out of the cell block. And that's all I saw. And then? That's literally all I saw. I'm, I'm being cooperative. And then she's like, and then you see him turn around immediately, and the woman, she's like, he's telling you the truth. That's his honest voice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Turns back around again to him. True. I will bring you. A book of crossword puzzles. Then you hear her from the back, Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's doing her puzzles! <laughs> cut to us. Yes, cut to you guys. And uh, so, set the scene. You guys are heading to oh, the... Oh, uh, definitely just a fucking cobweb, dirty-ass closet of a room with fucking the TVs mounted all over the place. It's dark. Smells of cigarette, cigarette smoke still hanging in the air, and there's this old ass bastard just chilling there. Just always smoking a cigarette. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, is it a cold ass bastard sitting there? <laughs> cold ass bastard. Like a old, fucking old, 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 old ass bastard. Yeah, <laughs> old ass bastard. I just see like like Bruce Wayne's butler from Batman Forever. <laughs> I don't remember his butler from Batman Forever. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the oldest, the oldest man. <laughs> the other car. <laughs> so this old-ass bastard uh, turns around at you guys. Officer Cena. And Officer McCready. Yeah. Where, where's, the, where, where's, where's Finnegan? It's good to see you, Oh, Shaky. he'll be catching up soon. Oh. Well, what do you boys need? Shaky, we just want to take a look at the videos over the last couple hours. Whoa. Okay, well, let uh, me dig it up here. It's probably pretty close by. It's not that far ago. Shaggy, how long you been here? Oh, 1945? So 15 years? Man, it's like you were built in here with the place. I mean, 
I helped build it. I was part of the concrete crew. Yeah, have you uh, not heard anything about what's been going on tonight, Shaggy? I, uh, I want to be completely honest with you. I fell asleep at like midnight. And uh, oh, oh, shaky. I woke up when I heard you guys coming down the stairs. So. Oh, shaky. But these reels should. I mean, it's a four hour reel, the long one. Uh, So there's a good chance it's, it's here, whatever you're looking for. What time is it? Did you say time? Never mind, Shaky. Just go get us some coffee, please. Oh, yeah. We'll we'll That'll take care good. of this, Shaky. Do you want to chain me? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> clink, clink, clink. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll start uh, digging some stuff around and uh, okay. trying to... Uh, I guess give me a hmm check. Uh, I got investor bait. Investigation sounds wonderful. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's the you rolling the dice music. <laughs> Does it cover up the dice sounds? Can I will evidence into existence? Ooh. Yes. You actually can. Oh shit. You can spend man. a fade point Fuck to create up. story like beats pretty much. Gnarly. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What were you planning? Oh no, I was just, I I was just asking. Okay. Like, because I have will here, and I don't know if I'm ever going to oh, actually like use that. it. Oh, like that. No, will is uh, for, like, mental No, I, I, I was making a joke, but I was also asking and uh, kind of vaguely how, how if I can activate these at any point. Yeah, you really can. You can call, to, like, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to roll this to do this. Okay. You can pretty much say it at any time. Okay. And so far, I've just been, like, prompting you guys to roll, which is... Makes sense with what we've been through right. in, 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 in our hard lives. <laughs> well, then we should we should just roll investigate together on, yeah, on right. these reels. Can do it together? Yeah, yeah, sure. The shaky's just like, oh, boy, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is, a, this is a sale. Shaky, yeah, shaky's actually a monster. Yeah, but he, they just put him to work. Here. Yeah, they put him to work. Yeah, there's, a, there's a work release. Oh, work release. Uh, <laughs> he's institutionalized. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a librarian. <laughs> Not all of these monsters are horrible. Oh, literally the first one they ever caught. <laughs> yeah. Stockholm <laughs> Syndrome. Now yeah. <laughs> I love the D-Pick. <laughs> a whole book of them. <laughs> Gross. Agents, that is. Okay. So how do we help each other? Um, I think you just give each other a plus two. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, boy. So what is that for? That is minus... Oh, wait. Minus oh, shit. Two. Yeah. Well, those are going to be... So that's minus two plus two because of me. So then a plus three because of his investigation. Yep, so you got a plus three to that, which is pretty good. Good lord, fucking... <laughs> not hitting shit out here. <laughs> so you guys do manage to uh, cue up the right tape and stuff, uh, right reel, rather, and you, you watch it on this, against the wall, and do you see that um, this cell block um, B that you guys are currently looking at um, there's this massive static from like 1.30 to like 3.30. Like two hours of static. This is very interesting. James. Not so much static as like just distortion, you know. But you, you don't, it, it's kind of obscuring just about everything. This is very interesting, James. I, I, this doesn't look like anything that would cause, this is, this is definitely outside. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like this happen here in all my years. What do you think? Should we bring this back to uh, Steven, or should we keep looking? We can try and look in other locations. I'm not sure exactly um, if it's going to be the same everywhere, but uh, maybe we can catch a glimpse of somebody that... Wait, we know who was all on staff last night. You do? Excluding the one that went home. Agent Richardson? Or Officer Richardson. Officer Richardson. Yes, and nobody should... else was on staff last night. We should probably link up with Steven then and, and head back. Sure, I was just thinking and go maybe... go and check uh, on this missing person. If you want to go find him, you can. I'll stay, I'll stay here and uh, try and see if I can uh, catch a glimpse of anybody who wasn't supposed to be on staff last night. Yeah, well, you, you know that uh, officers Edward Campbell and R Richardson were all on duty last night. And Brown. Uh, Brown was he's currently there now. Oh, James Brown. Right, yeah, he's currently there now. Was he the one replacing Richardson? Could have been. You haven't talked to him. Uh, well, you talked to him, but that wasn't a thing you talked about him. Who wasn't there? Um, we'll Richardson. See. Yeah, Richardson. If we don't find much else here, that's probably the next... Uh, so probably, probably our next and only lead, depending on what Steven's got. Very well. And then I just whisk away 
Just walking super <laughs> fucking fast in my suit. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, goodbye, Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> so, as uh, I, I was gonna, I was gonna see if I could see some stuff uh, about like any other tapes. Yep. From anywhere else, uh, I, I okay. assume that there's stuff in like the hallways and stuff, like so we could see. Oh, so you're trying to see if that same time period on a different camera? Yeah. Um. Yeah. See if uh, it's all distorted. Okay. Yeah. Especially you, you load up um any one of the other tapes, tell Block D, and uh you. You kind of cue it up to that time, and you notice that uh, nothing's wrong with it. Okay. Do I see people on duty? You do. Just well, you saw, um, you, during that time of night, you got like an A-guard run, walking, doing rounds pretty much every hour or so. And uh, you do see um, Officer Campbell do round about 2 o'clock um, around this cell block. About 3 o'clock, you see him come by again. And, uh Yeah. Maybe I'll just uh, queue up a couple more from just random locations just to see if I can see anybody. Okay. Um, just just to check if there's anybody else. Okay. You said Campbell did the rounds from... For cell block D, Campbell was doing rounds around 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. And that's when we were... You guys, showed up, at, you guys showed up at 4.30. But no, I, uh, we're in cell block D. That's where You're the You're in cell block B. Shifter. Okay, so yep. he was in a totally different... Location at that time. Yep. Okay. Roll and investigate. Sure. Um, for when you were looking at cell block D, actually, no. Roll notice at a plus four because the information I'm trying uh, that you can find here is not sure. easy to find. That's um zero. Okay, we got rolled negative one yeah, you at don't, a plus you don't, one. Don't really notice anything but that. All right, then I'll uh I'll try and catch up, see where they went off to. Okay, you uh you eventually the three of you uh meet in the hallways. Anything? Uh, only that um it's a uh... Officer that took the shifter out of his cell. Which one? He couldn't tell me. Mm. Well, it can't be that hard. Campbell was in a totally different cell block at the time. Richards wasn't here. So we have oh, Edward. Brown wasn't here. Richards was. Richards was here? Yeah. yeah. Richardson and uh, Richardson and Edwards are still the other two. There were three guys on duty. There I believe Brown replaced Richardson. Richardson went home yeah, about a half I, an hour before well, we got here. I asked that earlier, and you said that he was not there that at that night. He's not there at the moment. I oh, misunderstood, I misunderstood okay. the question. Well, then these notes are horseshit now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we found a distortion in the camera in that location what at that time. What type of distortion? Uh, it was not quite static, but uh, it was like it was almost as if it was like burnt real. I'd like to view that. I I can show you. I I almost have it queued up right now. As long as Shaky's not putting shit away. Fucking Shaky. Yeah. You want to accompany us, James? Accompany us, James? I mean, John. I'm James. <laughs> <laughs> Are you confused, sir? Oh my God. Oh. <clears throat> I'm actually James. right now during that whole conversation. I I was listening to him, but I was also staring at one of these motivational per posters that they had on the wall. So, you know, you see like a dental office or some shit, just some <laughs> bland artwork. Why do they keep this shit up in the lobby? But you startled him because I'm I'm uh, John oh, right. standing there staring at it, and he's trying to like comprehend what he's looking at because he he's got conflicting emotions about it. So he's kind of like, oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm 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 coming. Let's go. Let's review the tape. Yes, I agree. I'll just stare for a second. <laughs> I'll light another cigarette. <laughs> you do realize, James, that there's no smoking inside government facilities, right? Not in our government facilities. You know the policies. And just flick it on the floor and let's go. Good. All right, Stephen, lead the way. Back to the security center. Yep. <laughs> Want to review this to see if there's anything lost in the static? Oh, yeah. That's what you did there. Yeah. Um, give me... Uh, you want to roll notice to do that? I have Go a plus it. one. What do I need? I'm going to say a plus three. <laughs> Oof. A zero. <laughs> Man, we are rocking it. You, you kind of like look... You kind of pause through it. Or not pause through, but kind of like scrub through it a little bit. You don't seem to find anything... You can't really make it heads or tails of really any of that those moments. Fair enough. Let's uh, go to the guard's house that left. Richardson. It's about five. It's coming around five thirty. So maybe almost Campbell six now. and who? Or Campbell and Edwards. Uh, I'm gonna go find them. I need to get Richardson's address anyway. Okay. Uh, you guys head to. You guys all going with him? Yeah. Okay. So you guys head up to the uh, um, the guard's room. <laughs> sure. Campbell Edwards. Yeah. 
a uh, few things. Mm. Firstly, um, before I forget, I need uh, Richardson's address, uh, oh, wherever yeah. the hell that's kept. Yep, yep. Get the employee records. Put it up a filing cabinet. Uh, While they're a, doing this, can down I on a note on a note for you? Rule for investigate: just skim like some of the shit that's laid out sure, over yeah. the desk. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to try that actually. Do, do it to it. What are you looking for exactly? Uh, anything that would be out of place, just because most of the guards have told me already that they can't remember anything between like two, two o'clock, three. yeah, to okay. three. There's the distorted tape. So, so ideally, I'm, you're looking for something to do with that. I'm looking because I know that now with Steve's uh, information, I know that a guard walked somebody out of that room. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I want. I'm just. I'm investigating the desk without being too noticeable because I don't know which one of the guards did it. Obviously, right. So I just want to investigate and see if there's anything out of place that might give me a clue to who actually did it. Okay. Sweet. That's, that's all great. And it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, oh my a one. god. A one? Yeah, because I okay. have... Oh, wait. Is that plus three? Yeah. Uh, I was going to put the information that I had for you as a plus one anyway, so you managed to get that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't that difficult, but because what you what you notice is that um, you're kind of looking through like the... Uh, the, the like the the round logs right I don't know if that's what they call it round logs <laughs> like the, the the hourly rounds you know they do like a little log that's a round it. log yeah. <laughs> it's a round log yeah. um, you see that uh, all of them have been accounted for um, for the two o'clock three o'clock one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock hour except for um, B block the block in question around two o'clock and three o'clock uh, there's no there's no there's no guard signature. But you see the one o'clock hour, Robertson's name. So see Richard Robertson signed for the one o'clock hour. Okay. Well, with that information, then I I just want to start off by directly asking them uh, who is supposed to be. And I point out the Robert Richardson, not Thank Richard you. Robertson. Thank you. I was wondering. <laughs> yep. Me and Nate were looking at each other. I know. Like, I caught Wait. that. I was like, "Why'd you do that?" And I look at my notes. I'm like, mm, "Yep." Nice so nice. I'm pointing out to uh, the point or the spot on the paper where those names should have been, and I'm I'm yep. asking them who who is on who is on these uh, routes tonight. Oh, it's supposed to be Richardson. Wait, do you guys do multiple rounds at a time? Well, we do. Yeah, we we run them all every on the hour every hour. Right. I mean, he did it the one before and. He, he was he was assigned to B block for the night. Oh, uh, I understand. I, I was just wondering if you guys had switched off. Right. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. All right. Well, that's good to know. Why the fuck did we send him home? <laughs> yeah. Why did you? I think we should actually rush to Oversight. his his place of maybe you guys address. should. Uh, In the meantime, while we're investigating Richardson's apartment or house, or um, you guys should search every closet, nook, and cranny. On site here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should probably do that. Yeah. What are we looking for exactly? <laughs> You're looking for Richardson's body. Oh, shit. You think it's like that? I mean, I mean, no, we sent him home. Yeah. Like he was, like, I mean, like, what do you realize a shape shifter fucking was fucking simple? Oh, right. I see what you're was saying. Was the one that escaped, right? I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, How shit. could you not see what we're saying? Oh, shit. I think we're done here. We have to leave. Let's go, boys. Um, did you guys talk to uh, Director Smith yet? Fuck no. All right. Well, maybe you should. Oh, shit. Yeah, I probably should go talk to Tom. Fuck. Steve, you want to go get the car ready? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not going to be more than a minute. Excellent. You can come along in either direction, John. I'll actually uh, go stand at the car and wait. Okay. All right. I'll be right back, and I'll just start going just, off to the director's yeah, office. Just booking it off. Okay. You come to the director's office. Uh, you see his secretary sitting there, Peggy. And uh, she's like, oh, uh, Agent McCready. Good up? to see you, Peg. Uh, is Director Smith in? He hasn't come in yet. Which is strange, because he's usually here like 2 in the morning. Shit. You guys do not know when to stop working, do you? No. And uh, we don't get to stop now either. Um, you want me to call his wife? Want me to call the house? Ooh, I don't know about that. E- wait. Yes. All right, oh, one second. She like picks up the phone, rotary phone, dials the number. She's just sitting there with the uh, phone to her ear, tapping still, the desk the whole time. Still ringing. Hmm. You know, they should really invent one of those things that like uh, when you don't answer the phone, when it just like leaves a recorded, leaves you, allows you to leave a recorded message. Yeah, that would be great, Peg. Uh, let's not talk about supernatural shit right now. <laughs> um, how about you? She hangs up then. 
How about you start notifying people that uh, we might have a couple of missing persons? Who? Um, firstly, Director Smith, and secondly, Richardson. I'm sorry, oh. there's a lot of names that i got to remember for people that I don't see often. <laughs> Let us go. Please. Pegara. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Peggy's short for. <laughs> Please notify everybody that you can, Peg. I have to go. She furiously scribbles names. Will do. Good luck. Thank you very much. And I just dip. Okay. Sounds great. Uh, and then you head to the car, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like Smith isn't in either. Do we go to Richardson's house or Smith's house? Because I know that Smith is normally here at 2 a.m., which is when our strange lost in the static distortion has arisen on these tapes. Mm. To the director's house. All right. I'm with you. I'm just kind of staring in, off into the sky, looking at the stars. As Real spacey today, Ad. Ah, James. No, I was admiring. I don't know what I was admiring. Let's go. You, uh, you, you need to take this one out, friend? No. We have a job to do. Let's go. All right. I can smoke in the car, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's no explosives in the car. And then I just kind of peek. So I'm going to Tokyo Drift out of this parking garage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Just, <laughs> actually, give me a drive. Roll drive at like a, ooh. Yeah, he's maxed out on like a so. plus, Like a plus four. <laughs> because oh, you're Tokyo that. Drifting a fucking Mercury Comet. <laughs> That's hot. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, plus six. Fuck, Fuck yeah, yeah you succeed. You just... Just. Why is this the most badass <laughs> Batman fucking... Just yeah. The whole place is just filled <laughs> with the, 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 the one place where he's not anxious. <laughs> Behind the wheel. That makes yep. sense. Wheelman. Straight up baby driver. <laughs> Let's get the fuck over there. Driving John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I will also take this car off-road if I know it's going to be, you know, a shorter, easier trip. Really? Yeah, I mean, if we're going through the desert, I mean, you drove. You got plus. You got a plus four, sucker. Uh, anyway, sucker. <laughs> plus six. Oh, you oh yeah, plus six. That's right. Technically, help wait, wait. him. At that's a plus some point. Well, it, it changed. Yeah, it mind. changed because I right. moved him. You're right. But that's my highest skill. I actually and I had two on it, so six. Right. I beat your four by two shifts. You did. Yep. So I I succeeded with style. You need three that's, for it. That's a style shift. Fuck you and your style. <laughs> <laughs> you like my style. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Danny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Okay, so you uh, you just explain your drive to the, uh, the director's house. You guys ever play Need for Speed Payback? Jesus. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> all all the while he's driving. However, he's yeah. he's driving. I'm just sitting there reading. I actually got like I'm trying to hide it between my legs underneath some work stuff, but it's like a little poetry book that I had found. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Emerson. I'm in the back. No seatbelts, of course, so all these crazy turns and shit. I'm smoking a cigarette all casual. And you take a turn to the le- the left, and I just slide over to the right on the bench Flick seat. it out one Flick window. Flick it out the window. <laughs> That's exactly over. it. Yep. <laughs> I can imagine during that, during, all of you, all three of you during that out, drift I, scene, to all just leaning permanently one direction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pull out a flask from inside of my jacket and take a couple bumps off of it. Let's get over there. Okay. Anyway, so, we'll get, so we get there as soon as we possibly can. Okay. You uh, book it down the road. You know he lives in White Hills, so you head in there, and um, it's not too far of a drive. It's a small town. You get to his house, and you, uh, yeah, you're at his house. All right, gentlemen. We already know this could possibly be a very dangerous situation, so we're going to have to go in tactically. Or we can just ring the doorbell because it might just be the director being, you know, taking a day. Considering his position, I don't know about that. Give me a notice check. Actually, all three of you. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Is that a plus one? Oh shit! I got, I got a plus three. Nice. So it's, uh, we got, we got four, plus, five, six. That's like a critical success, technically. Yeah, you you fucking <laughs> succeeded in style once again, friend. <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit, Steven. Yeah, total. I had. You like got a, a bug in your eye. Negative one. You notice uh, <laughs> that his car is gone, and you know that he drives a uh, 1960 Plymouth Valiant, of course, given by the company. Mm-hmm. And you notice. That as well, but I you noticed al- that fucking comet shooting off <laughs> right. across Texas. You also <laughs> notice his uh, his tire tracks actually have done the dirt road or whatever. Um, went the, a different direction that you guys have come from. Like you guys came from a certain way, and generally he's going that same way to go to work or whatever. He went off the other direction. The tire tracks leaving the house, like the freshest tire tracks. Yes. Okay. You, hard to say how old they are, but they the, yeah the most noticeable tire tracks. Well, I, then uh, John Cena just walks up to it, and he takes a peek down real quick, and he's like, well, I think that would mean that he's probably not home. And then I point in the opposite direction. Well, I'm going to go check on the missus quick. 
just in case. Uh, I've known Catherine for quite a few years, and I <laughs> would hate to know. I mean, I, I might be jumping to conclusions, but I'll be right back. I think we should enter this building together, though. I'm going to go up and knock on the door. You hear uh, very quickly after you knock, uh, the door opens up. It's uh, You see Catherine, and uh, she's like, oh, shit. What happened? Where is he? That's what I came to ask you about. Oh, I have no idea. Are you... He didn't come home last night. Well, when he rarely does. Usually he comes home around 10 o'clock and he's gone again by 2. That's already far, that's already far more information than we had. You don't know where he is. I was going in to talk to him today about... Thanks. It's classified, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Catherine. Or always is. I'm sorry. You find him, James. I promise you, Catherine. Why don't you bring me no flag? We should go. I'm sorry. I wish I could talk longer. Godspeed, gentlemen. She, like, waves it up to three of you. And I run back out of the car. As I'm uh, I'm halfway down the, the walkway, and as I meet up with you and we start walking together, John looks at him and, you know, he's trying to keep a hushed tone. I understand the concept behind the flag, but why does it mean so much, and why does it mean so much to you in particular if you've only known them for a few years? What are you talking about? You just have so much care for these people, and you said that you've only known her for a few years. Why? I've only, oh, I've only known Catherine for a few years because they've only been married a few years. I've I've known Tom for well on two decades now. How oh, strange. Let's go. Uh, yeah, that looks good. I've, you watch. Hey, uh, John. What? What? You got some uh, pretty keen eyes. How about you keep an eye out? I'll watch you back. Copy. So, how are you guys proceeding here? Um, if we got to do some notices, yep. John would be the best at it. Right. Okay. And I'll um, I'll help him. I'm driving. Yep. Okay. So uh, give me that notice check. Roll notice at uh, plus two. Not that hard. Got Sweet. it on the dice alone. Sweet. No, I got plus one on the dice. But I know you made it. What did you? What was your total? Uh, what is that? Three. Three plus the two I gave him. Nice. So he just he do a style. Style. Yeah. Just <laughs> out the window. I like how you can take with the style yeah. so, like, so, so, so directly. <laughs> I can't help it, man. What it really means, it's just what they call it, but what it really means, you, I know, but you it's get so, a bonus with it's it. It's so funny, so I just no, picture I like him it. out there. It's like, while well, he's sticking his head, I was like, I, you didn't have to. A, yeah, okay, so John is actually leaning out the window. Like, the, the I, this is where I kind of want him, his psyche, to start breaking in weird ways. So, yeah, he's he is leaning out the window, and he's, like, trying to hold his hand up against the wind. And it's, like, Steve's driving incredibly fast, I'm sure. So his cheeks are starting to pull back, and he's just, just staring at the ground. I'll roll down the window from behind. You You have glasses, John. Yes, James! Uh, what is that? What are you saying? I'm going to reach up and pull the glasses out of his front <laughs> shirt pocket and hand them up to him. Oh, thank you, my good sir. And I just roll the window. I don't say anything. I roll the window back up. My fucking cheeks are still <laughs> flapping in the wind. But your eyes are good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that legitimizes your help. <laughs> oh, my God. It totally does. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's Shit. amazing. I just pictured the, who played the guy for Men in Black. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones? Uh, yeah, Tommy Lee Jones, just in his men in black suit, yep. leaning out the window, doing like 80. I mean, that picture, that's what you guys look like anyway. I know, just right? It's Tommy so hard Jones not to. Men in black. <laughs> 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 of various psyches. I think the yeah. oldest of us is in their 40s. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a test tube baby, man. <laughs> what did okay, you, sorry. Yeah I, yeah, I got, so I got the. What did you style? style yeah, what, what did you notice with style, sir? What did I notice? I noticed that the, uh, actually, uh, I kind of want to, I want to take this to some more more extreme. So I noticed that there's actually swerving beginning. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna yell back to to the boys as my head's still out the window. I, I at least look through the door, and uh, I yell to Stephen. Stephen, Stephen, can you hear me? Oh yes. <laughs> there's they they started swerving about a mile back. Maybe slow down. I'll take her down to a nice sedate sixty. You also, well, that's pretty good, and it's the date 60. Mm -hmm. You also notice then during that point when it started to swerve that there's another set of tracks as well, a little larger tracks, which, uh... Were um, they, like, wheeled, though? Yes. Oh, yeah. shit. Tire, yeah, tire tracks, not tracks. <laughs> um, um, yeah, um, in looking... Oh, that's a good question, though, either way. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, like mm -hmm. truck versus it, car. It looks like it could be a, a larger vehicle, truck or van. 
Okay. Well, then, obviously, as we're rolling down this road, the dirt is now it's getting pretty. You you can notice that it, all the swerving. So I lean sure. back into the car. Steve, there's there's another set of tires out there, and they're pretty big for anything that we're we're driving around out here in the backwoods. Just gonna take her nice and slow, fifty five, sixty ish. Okay. And continue following the tracks. Okay. As uh, as John Cena, I want to try to make my first joke with young Steven here. Do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he's talking about uh, nice even 60. So John leans over. Must be the jet lag that's getting to you, huh? What? The, the jet lag, Steven, from fast to slow. Never mind. Continue. But we didn't fly here. Just keep we, going. I literally Wait. drove us here, though. Wait a minute. We didn't fly. Was friend John? Yes, James. James, we was have an that, important mission to do. Was I that do attempt wanna... at a joke, John? No. I don't know. Uh, I, I start I... turning up the music <laughs> on the radio. Uh, <laughs> Chuck Berry. Light, light another cigarette. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you, Jonathan. Okay, so um, you see that eventually you come down to the, uh, you keep following the tracks, and you can see that there's like, obviously these two sets of tires um, were kind of trading paint, and... Uh, Eventually, you see uh, one of the tracks leads off into the into a ditch, and there looks to be like something hit the ditch. Oh, please don't be but, valiant! But there's no car there. We Ooh. will stop and investigate. Absolutely, we will. But then you also see that the uh, it looks as though actually, you know what? We're gonna have you, we're gonna have you we're gonna see what the investigation brings up here before I can just keep giving you more information for free. You know what? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? What's that? I'm going to use a stunt. Okay. Yeah. For this. What are you going to do? I, know, I have no idea what I'm going to call it, but because it has shit to do with cars and it has to do with investigation, doing. I'm going to use my drive for investigation. Okay. So we can, I cannot, we'll call it something eventually, but what we can call it, what we can mechanically call it is that uh, you're using drive instead of- You basically of recreated the whole I'm, crime I'm scene using my, mind. I'm using my yeah. stunt, The Fast and the Furious. Ooh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, you're God. using your drive skill- in place of your investigation skill, um, when in regards to vehicles, yes. So that's perfect. I like it. Fuck yeah, that's a wonderful idea. And that's all. oh yeah, give me a fate point. Here you are. Uh, during this time, I'm John Cena is just pulling security since he's a- already well known as the best shot. That's in the group. a right. that's that a, makes sense. That is a uh, fat plus six, my friend. That is three pluses and one styling. minus. Styling. That is styling. Yep, I was going to call that a plus two. <laughs> oh boy. So Ric Flair, uh, <laughs> you uh, you see that um, another set of tracks, which presumably the larger vehicle, um, it looks like it stopped. There was some um, boot prints, and uh, and you see that it, it, it takes off again, right? The, it looks, you can tell that it kind of pulled over. People have walked around, there's some footprints around and stuff. And there's some. Uh, you also see some blood, some blood prints, and uh, blood prints. <laughs> you know, so where the blood walked around. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Taipei. <laughs> and you also notice some like. Dog prints or wolf prints? They look kind of big, so you assume that they're wolf prints. Shifter. What do we know about the shifter, is there, boys? Is there Can any it actually uh, turn into an animal? What you do know about the shifter, which is a great question. Actually, uh, give me a lore check Ooh. At, at, at zero, because it's something that That's you should you, kind it? of already know. You know what I mean? It's a specimen of you guys. So, okay, yeah, yeah. That is a... Oh, God. That's a plus <laughs> so two. Bad. Four. A four? Nice. Let's not talk about mine. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> no, so you do know that uh, the shifter, the shifter can only turn into other other humanoids, other people. You already you stated that previously, but that still remains true. Okay, orangutans and such. And you know that, uh, right? You're with style. We're going to give you that bonus, right? Yes. And that bonus is going to be a little insight into what you're looking at. And you think, due to the fact that you're dealing with a shapeshifter, and then there are human or boot prints, rather, and then wolf prints, you're assuming perhaps there might be werewolves or lycanthropes of some sort. Yo, it's motherfucking werewolves. I'm going to the trunk. Hold on. And I get out my silver weapons. Perfect. That's, silver bullets. That's great. That's a great <laughs> bonus, then, for that <laughs> seating with style, then. Um, I wanted to know whether, like, whether or not I could tell what might have happened to the Plymouth. Yes, it is gone. But, no tracks? No, not, just disappeared? Yep. James, what have you found out? I don't know. I oh, actually, with style, no, no, so no. I wanted to know. But that makes sense, actually. Um, what you do see then is that those same there's there's a set of tracks um, that kind of go with the heavier tracks, but it looks like it's not the full car. It's not like a four wheels going on. It looks like it's only two. 
They towed it. Absolutely. Um, really getting in it. I'm still up by the. I don't know what's going it on. It looked like okay, I'm silver bullets, boys. It looks like they uh, they put the Plymouth into the ditch. Obviously, but it looks like they towed it after that, and then they're moving slower. Silver fucking bullets. Well, in your fucking, fucking gun right <laughs> now. <laughs> where did where did this come from, Stephen? I don't know, but my anxiety is gone. I hear so much <laughs> anger. Anger coming from down there. What's going on? Did you find werewolves? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Up on the road. Yeah. Well, they're down in the ditch. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> you sound like you're about to cry, John. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Get back in the car. We'll be up there in a minute. Don't tell me what to do. Why am I so... What is this? You're being really <laughs> moody, John. <laughs> no, you're being moody. Let's... What? What did you find out? <laughs> give me a moment. I'll come back up, and I'll just start heading up there, and I'll get, I'll give him the the down low <laughs> on all the Steven? information. He's coming, motherfucking werewolves, yo! They are werewolves, then. Silver all bullets. Right. Well, he's already up at the trunk of the car, unloading the. Yeah. Oh yeah, what oh, yeah. The... yeah. He, he, he came up. He came up. That's right. He did come right. up right yep. away. So I, I released the mag in my my handgun and grabbed one from the trunk, super quick, and put it in there. And he's like, as as I do that, I I <laughs> I raise my fist up to him. The first fist bump in the history yes. of the world. Yes, I want it to be about where we're killing. September 1st, 1960, Arizona. <laughs> I'm going to catch the trunk before somebody shuts it. It's like, uh, shapeshifters. Coincidentally, are they um, weak to silver as well? They are. I thought so. Now. <laughs> Actually, give me a lore. Give me, roll, roll lore at a plus three to know that. Oh. Four. Four? Nice. Yeah, you know nice. that they are. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I am well aware. Oh, damn. Let's leave the big guns behind. We probably won't need them for this. So are we following them through the woods then? Well, it, the, the the road continues on, uh, or the tracks continue on down the road. Oh, it, oh, it oh the, the, the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they must have all jumped werewolves in a car. Sick and tired of these werewolves in this car. You know car. what? <laughs> <laughs> what fuck? Uh, so I, I think then John Cena is actually going to grab, he's going to grab his his long gun. From underneath the uh, the backside of the trunk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of gun you got? Uh, pff, boy, Which in the nineteen sixties. I, I actually have know. a list Fucking of the guns give me, that were available. Actually, give me like an M1 Grand. Okay, that sounds I'm good. A, I'm a I'm a I'm a like a carbine kind of dude. Okay, so you got you're carrying a Savage 308. Sure. I'll take a 308 pump shotgun. With a Beretta over and under 12 gauge. <laughs> it's a double barrel shotgun. I will take the double barrel. Fair enough. Very cool. You got a whole bunch of like. Like silver shot or just silver remember, slugs. Just, um, so, what are you guys doing? We're following those tracks. Let's go get the director, boys. In the car, driving down the road. Okay, yeah, you manage to, uh, you head on down the road, you keep following the tracks, and it's kind of, this, this road doesn't really have turnoffs anytime soon, because you're kind of just traveling through the desert. Eventually, you're coming to a warehouse, like an old mine, like a, there's an old mine out here, and you're well aware of it, White Hills was built on in 1893, um, and, uh, you come to the, one of the old mining warehouses, kind of abandoned, but you do see that there's a tow truck parked outside this place, uh, a, a kind of a nondescript white box van, box truck. The pedos got him. <laughs> Not that kind of vehicle. Um, uh, a 1960 Plymouth Valiant, which is like destroyed, it's kind of dropped uh, off in the side of the place there, and then uh, another black car as well, another one that you recognize as a government vehicle as well, or a depict vehicle, and. Uh, is it? Are there any people around? There are no people. Are there any werewolves? You see no signs of life really at all outside. There's no one milling around, no dogs, no nothing. I will park next to the the closest car to the entrance, not to the building from the road. That would be like the box truck then. Yeah. I'll pull up next to the pedo van. Okay. All right. John Cena steps out with his M1 Grand and uh, he strikes a pose. <laughs> 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 it's not it's nothing Are you it's, it's it's actually something <laughs> pretty subtle but it's it's he's trying to strike like a heroic pose that he saw off of a comic strip john did you hurt your back when you were hanging out the window there friend uh yes uh, uh gentlemen uh <laughs> how do you uh, propose we take this i think we should go in tactically yeah i was thinking quietly john i don't know we both know that steven's not very quiet <laughs> <laughs> it's true i'm sorry <laughs> and there are werewolves about, and you just know that he's going to get in. You smell that? No. What is that smell? It's so bad. 
James. It, it wasn't me. I smelt this a hundred times in my life, and it's only around you. You know who smelt it, Delta? I mean, is it cigarettes? I think so. <laughs> I'm annoyed. What is this feeling? Wait, this is the wrong time, John. Just starts flexing <sighs> in his suit a little bit, and he's like, I think I should take point on this one, boys. We're going to die. We're absolutely going to die. Oh, no. We've Why is that, shoulder. James? And he slaps him on the back. I take a drink, and then another drink, and then I turn my safety off. Remember, kids, don't sniff glue. <laughs>